In this video, I'm going to show you how to order calibrations for the Vitros Analyzer. Starting from the System Status screen, you'll go into Reagent Management. Um, we're going to look at the Status button for all the reagents. We're going to scroll through and find anything that requires a calibration. You can see here that Protein for CSF is not calibrated. And then we're going to also want to check to see what the lot number is for that reagent, because that will come in handy later. And next, you'll click on Samples button. And down at the bottom, Cal Programs is where we're going to click on Next. And this will take you to where you would order any calibrations. Then we're going to define a new calibration. And you're going to name it whatever you want. I typically name it the reagent and the calibrator kit that I need. Um, after you've named it, hit Enter. And then you're going to scroll through. And you're going to actually find that reagent protein here. And you're going to click on it. You can see that it displays that it requires calibration kit 5 which I have over here. Um, most of these need to be reconstituted, some do not. CalKit 5 does, and I have it right there. And then after that, we're gonna save, and then we're gonna go to the assignment, which is gonna be selecting the lot numbers. So the kit lot for the calibrator is uh, 560 in this instance. And then the reason we needed the protein lot number earlier is because we're gonna have to select it from the dropdown. After that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pick a tray and you're going to get it set up to hold uh, the calibrations. I chose tray 20. And then we're going to hit finish. So it tells you what calibrator numbers you need and what spots they will go into cup 1, 2, and 3. And then we're going to finish. And you can see that I now have Protein Cal Kit 5 ordered. You can also delete calibrations if you need to down there at the bottom. Additionally, just something to keep in mind that if you're going to be running calibrations on multiple reagents, when you click on them, it'll actually display all of the other reagents that use the same calibrator kit. Uh, this is useful because you can run multiple calibrations on multiple reagents at the same time. You would just select them all and then it would take you back here and you'd have to just choose all the appropriate lots. And that'll help if you're doing multiple things. You want to keep setting up new cal. In order to check the status of a calibration, you click on Options, Review, Edit Calibrations, and then you would go through and select which reagent you wanted to see the calibration information for. And then at the top there, you'd see the most recent calibration, whether or not it passed, expired, or failed. For immunoassays, things are a little bit different. You don't have to order the calibrations. Once you load it, it'll tell you need to be calibrated, and then you just have to load the appropriate calibrator. Now, they are lot-specific, so you just have to find the calibrator that matches the reagent pack lot, and that's how it works. Thank you for watching.